right. I think I caught myself that time. <laughs> it was on mute again. How many times am I going to do that? Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It has been three weeks, three weeks since our last Facebook Friday. Hopefully I'm in the right place. Things look different. I have a new phone. Thumbs up if you guys can hear me, hopefully. Um, I guess I need to check my own device and see where we are. Okay, yep, there I am with the mute on. <laughs> okay, good. Hello, hi Judy, it's good to see you guys. It's been a long three weeks, a lot has happened. Um, but today, I've got three new projects for you. Let's see if I can open this up. All right, um, we're gonna use Attention Shoppers. Don't you love the name of this? I, you know, sometimes I say that's a terrible name for stamp set, but this time I love it. Um, so we're going to do three projects with Attention Shoppers. It's probably my most favorite stamp set in the whole catalog if I had to pick just one. I think it would be this. I love the way that it's drawn. Um, it's cutesy. Um, and the dies, of course, great dies, but like filled with fun. Is that what that stamp set was called? Filled with fun. <laughs> you could put all kinds of things in the cart. Um, when I was in Mexico on the incentive trip, there was, I didn't swap this time, so I don't have swap cards, but there was a swap card on the board where they had cut out all the, the little, um, crafting with you, uh, dies, the little paper cutter, the little cut and emboss machine and put it in the basket. And that was super cute. So just like we did with a wagon, you have to kind of look at your other stamps and see, and your dies and see what other things you can put in the cart. Today we're keeping it, um, within the stamp set, but if I had more time, we would put all kinds of things in here. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around. I have some things to show you. Hello, glad you guys are here. Thank you to everybody who sent me cardstock. I shared yesterday the picture. Um, I, I don't think my collection is 100% complete, but it were pretty close. Closer than we've ever been. You guys were so generous sending me that paper. Thank you so, so so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I want to share with you um, some new kits that we have. Um, Stampin' Up! releases new kits every month. And so this month we have two new kits. One is a stamp kit. One is a non-stamping kit. And so this is the one that is the stamping kit. It's called City Sites. And it is um, $21. And let's see if I can... Um, pull these uh, out so you can kind of see what's in here. Um, it has different languages there, some die cut cityscapes. Um, it's kind of like a watercolor look, really pretty. Um, thinking of you, the rest is in a different language. <laughs> but the stamp set has a cute little city scene and some little, um, like a texture stamp. And it comes with, ooh, one of my favorites, Pebbled Path. So that is in our kit selection. You know, because it's not in the catalog, I feel like sometimes we miss the kits. But I want to make sure, I try to order them each month so that you can see what they look like. This is the non-stamping kit. Hello, Hollyhocks. You know, funny story is we don't have Hollyhocks here that I know of. It's not really a typical flower, but one time I was at Lowe's and there was this giant flower, purple flowers I had never seen. And I looked and they were Hollyhocks and I was like, wow. Those are beautiful. So anyway, I always think of that. Um, they was tall like this, and I'm pretty sure it was purple if I remember correctly. But um, I think it's too hot and dry here for hollyhocks. But anyway, this is a non-stamping kit, which makes it even easier. A great one to take on the go. Or to do with if you have friends that say they're not crafty. Anybody can put these together. And this one is only $14. It has the die cuts, isn't that pretty? Somebody else did all the work and all you have to do is assemble. These make great gifts too, if you're looking for a gift. Okay, so those are the two new kits. I also have another kit that we got on the trip uh, that will be out next month that I'll be able to show you. Um, well, I guess, let me see, is this it sitting here? I guess I can go ahead and show you. I'm not sworn to secrecy or anything. This one will come out, I, I'm assuming next month and it's called Something big just fell. It sounded like in my closet. I hope there's not a mess when I'm done. <laughs> Expressions of Kindness Kit. Um, it looks very watercolory and it has stamp set. So anyway, that is that. Be looking for that one next month. Um, 
All right, let's talk about the new All-Star tutorial. Um, this one came out while I was in Mexico. Also, it features the Country Woods. Um, there's two stamp sets in the Country Woods suites, the Birdhouse and the Country Flowers. And of course, I made a treat box, but um, I know there's another treat box in here too, different than mine. Um, you know, there's a lot of things in here, a lot of fun things, cards. Um, <laughs> we all love that birdhouse so much, um, but also the flowers and stuff. So anyway, this is free. If you spend um, $50 with me this month in May, I have sent them out to everyone who shopped with me either yesterday or day before. Um, and then I'll send them out again. And I send them out about once a week, week and a half. I have a hard time remembering to do it these days, but it's free if you spend $50 with me. Um, it's also available in my PDF store. It's $15. And the thing about this one, this is different than my normal PDFs. Um, they come with links to videos. So each one has a video tutorial. Um, y'all were having trouble getting on, huh? With Facebook? Yeah, I don't get notified at all either, Patricia, and, you know, we're at their mercy. They, there's no way to, like, fix any of that. It's crazy. Anyhow, that's that this month. Um, let's see. What else do I want to tell you guys? I'm feeling very, like, discombobulated. I feel out of practice. When I, when I was sick, you guys, before I went to Mexico, I had a stomach bug. My middle daughter and I both... Middle of the night, woke up sick, thought it was food poisoning, but it lasted forever. Even when I got to Mexico, which was a week later, I was still not feeling great. And then, man, I haven't been sick like that in a long time. So I hate to cancel Facebook Friday, especially when I'm going to be out of town the next week. So I apologize, but there was no way. <laughs> there was no way I could get it together. Okay, this month's, um, no, sorry, next month, June's Club Create Kit is a masculine kit that features the Adventurous Sky, the airplane set, as I like to refer to it. I adore this set. Um, I love the way it's drawn too, but I also love the die cuts that you can um, make an airplane out of die cuts if you don't want to stamp, and these really cool embellishments. So this kit um, will be for June. So the subscription kit, the subscription period for this kit is open right now from uh, May 8th to June 7th. It's $45. My, so my kids come like this. You get about $25 in product, which means you'll either get like a half a pack of paper, quarter pack of paper, you'll have paper left over, plus full embellishments. So like a full pack of ribbon, a full pack of um, embellishments. Um, and then if you stay around for six months, you get a $25 product credit as a gift from me. So. That is open. You can, of course, stay for one month, two months, 20 months, <laughs> however long you want. You can cancel anytime. There is no um, commitment. Like, there's no, when you sign up, you don't have to commit to a certain amount of time. All right. Uh, let's see. The next thing I should tell you about is paper shares. I'm leaving my paper shares open for a while because I can't get to these until the end of the month. I have to get, I just, uh, finished a big prep for a, a team training that we're doing. My next thing next week is getting club create done. Then I have in color club first month's kit to get done. So these will come at the end of the month. So I'm keeping it open um, until about, let's see, I don't remember what the date is I put on there, but I'm thinking around the 19th. Um, my plan is to cut, pack and ship the last couple days of May, hopefully. Um, my paper shares come in three options, six by six. Those are, those are the, um, for those of you that just want a little bit, a little quarter piece of each sheet. They come also in six by 12. That's for those of you who want a little bit more, half sheet. Now, some of our paper comes six by six. So if you're getting the paper share, and let's say you're getting the bigger size, those six by six pieces are still gonna be six by six, just because the pack only comes six by six. I've noted that on the um, blog post, so just keep that in mind. Um, so six by 12, or those of you who really want the full sheets, 12 by 12. Um, this is for my scrapbookers out there, um, or just you want the full sheets. Um, they come in these little, 
uh, what do you call them, document keepers, these little plastic envelopes. Started that last time and I think you guys have really enjoyed these. So um, if you would like to sign up for these, everything is on my blog today. Has anybody checked the blog post to make sure it's up? Um, pinkbuckaroo.com. At the bottom of today's post, there is the link for the paper share. Uh, you have to email me for the registration link. Uh, just that's one of Stampin' Up's rules. So you can email me for that. Or if you're on my email list, I have sent it out in several emails already. So just look back in your email. Um, the links for the other two things are there as well. All right, and a free PDF for today's projects. All right, so that is that. Would you guys like to see what I got in Mexico? Um, last week, I was in Mexico, or Mexico, as they say it, um, down in Riviera Maya um, on the Stampin' Up! Uh, Ishkaret. Ish now I can't say it because I've been gone too long. Ishkaret Resort instead of trip. Um, it was really fun. I will admit I'm not a big fan of Mexico. I live next door to Mexico. I felt like at one point I could see my house <laughs> from the resort. Not really, but I was kind of like, Meh. but let me tell you, they spoiled us rotten, spoiled us rotten. The resort, the hospitality level was insane at the, at the resort. They were amazing. So it was a wonderful trip as always. Why do I even doubt that a Stampin' Up trip is not gonna be super amazing. Um, they did um, our, you know, they they gift us with things while we're there and they used to leave us pillow gifts each night on our bed. That's where that um, term pillow gift came from. I always include a pillow gift in my retreat. Um, but this time they did it different. They had a gifting suite when you first got there and you went from station to station picking out the things that you wanted. And one of them were, all of the things were handmade there in Mexico by Mexican artisans. Um, the first thing was the bag. And boy, I had a hard time picking out the bag. I will not lie. It was difficult. Um, but this is the one that I picked. We got to pick out two of these beautiful things. I've actually ordered these on Etsy before um, for gifts. Um, and again, I had a hard time. There was one that had, had a cactus on it. But I actually already have one that has a cactus on it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to, even though that's really what I was going for. Um, I got the little senorita. I uh, no, Christy, are you kidding me? Did I eat the bugs? Are you kidding me? No, I did not. I could not do that. I did go on that, um, that, I don't even know what you call it, that dinner that was on the boat where you had all the tasting things. I didn't even look at them. I mean, gross. I am not... I'm not an adventurous eater, although I was a little more adventurous, I would say, on this trip than any other time. But no, ew, uh, ew gross. I, a snake found me. I don't know if you guys saw that picture, but of course, yes, a snake found me. Of course, the snakes here were like, send a message to Mexico and let them know that she's coming. Ugh, it was a little skinny snake, but still it was a snake and I didn't like it. Um, okay, so every day we got to go and spin a prize wheel. Here's one of the prizes we got. Um, I, I took out some of it. Uh, we got a pack of paper. The little duck paper is what I got. We got a bolt of ribbon one day. In the gifting suite, one of the other things we got are these cute little fans, which I forgot to take with me each day. I'm like, God, I, I'm sweating. I'm like, why don't I have my fan? Of course, I picked hot pink. Um, in the, in the room every night, they come and do like turn down service and they have these cute little baskets, these little handmade baskets. Uh oh, this one got smashed. Um, and inside were little Mexican candies. Oh look, this one still has it in there. So each night was a different, and you know what I will tell you, being in San Antonio, Mexican candy is a big deal. There's a big section at the grocery store, Mexican candy, and I've never even looked twice at it. And now that I've tried all of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have been missing out. Here is our name tag. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Name tag, I've got trash falling out. <laughs> Look, Kylie Bertucci made me some taco earrings. Aren't they so cute? So cute, they look at my stamp set. Um, here's the lid to that basket. And then packing cubes. Do you guys use packing cubes? I've not used packing cubes before and I, I feel like I need to get on the ball with that, but I got, I picked, again, we had all different ones we could pick out, so here are the ones that I chose. 
get to pick out three sizes. There were some other things. There was a beautiful ceramic frame, but I left it in the house. We're gonna um, put it up in the house. Um, we got a like a, a cheese plate one night. We've got chocolate strawberries, although I think that was from the resort. I don't know if that was from Stampin' Up. Oh, and this little thing. You had to pick out your um, spirit animal, and this was mine. Oh, I hope it's not broken. Look. This was my spirit animal. <laughs> so cute, right? I'm going to leave him out. I haven't, I've been so busy since I got home. I haven't even opened this to, to get all my goodies out. Oh, and then we got these. The Ted and I went a couple of days early and he and I got a massage. He'd never had a massage before. And so we went and got a massage and they gave us those little cute little handmade dolls. Anyways, um, it was amazing. I mean, I can't say anything else about it. It was amazing. What's not amazing about having a trip where they spoil you and they treat you like you're super special. I mean, it's amazing because, you know, as the moms, usually we're planning the trips, right? We're in charge of all the stuff. Not this time. You know, when you go on a Stampin' Up! incentive trip, it's a lot of work to get there. A lot of work. But every year when we're on the trip, it's kind of like it recharges your batteries and reminds you why you work so hard. So anyhow, that is that. I'm sure, oh, oh, I was gonna show you the scrapbook too, I forgot. The last day, this is the best gift, I think. The last day in our room, we had a scrapbook, a little scrapbook, with the Memories and More cards that were themed, like our little Mexico trip. Look how cute. I have some stickers also that we got. I don't know where I put those stickers now that I'm thinking about it. But look how beautiful. Oh, I just love the design. So I'm definitely, I ordered a little printer called a, oh, no, I can't remember. A little printer, what's it called? Where you can drop your photos over and it'll print on three by four or two by three. I just ordered it. So I'm going to fill it up with pictures. Look at these fun stickers. I mean, wow. This is, this is, this, I think this little gift is special because it's not something that I could have bought myself. Um, they had it specially made for us. So anyhow, that's it. Thank you guys. Everybody who's ever ordered from me helped me get there in my downline. My team who work hard too, um, they helped me get there too. So I am grateful to all of you for helping me with this amazing life that I have. I really appreciate all of you. Okay. Are you guys ready to stamp? Oh, we got to do prizes first. If you haven't joined us for Facebook Friday before, make sure you go to pinkbuckaroo.com. I have a free PDF. Um, and um, there's a host code there. That's what I was going to say right here. If you like today's projects, I will send them as a project kit for you next week. Um, you will need the Attention Shopper stamps and dies. Um, but everything else I will send to you scored, die cut, um, punched, I don't do any stamping that's against Stampin' Up! Policy, so you need the stamps and dies or use something that you may already have. Um, but they'll look like this. Um, if you want these, I send them to anybody who places an order over $35 um, between now and Monday at midnight using the host code. And it's free as a thank you. It's kind of like a free card class that I would do if we all lived in the same area. All right, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to see if I missed any... Um, no, did you get a choice? So Kayleen, when we walked up to the spirit animal booth, they were all in these little muslin bags and you just had to pick one at random. You didn't know what you were getting. Um, he said that whatever you picked would be your spirit animal. I was like, okay. Um, but it's cute. I like it. You know, it was cute. We were Googling some of the things that, um, the spirit animals were, and I have zero memory of what mine was. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember uh, Michelle got an armadillo and I remember what that one was, but I can't remember anything else. Okay, prizes for last, for three weeks ago. Um, I picked a random winner who shared the video and Rosa Acosta, Rosa Acosta, Acosta, Ac I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Rosa, thank you for sharing my video. I don't think I have your mailing address, so if you would please email me and let me know where I can send it to you, okay? All right, uh, this week, next week, I'll be giving away a brand new Country Flowers bundle. Oh, there you are. Yes, yay, Rosa. Please email me, okay? Um, 
this is what I'll give away next week. So if you'd like to win, just share the video either on Facebook or on YouTube. Okie dokie, let's get started. Have you guys ordered attention shoppers? I noticed somebody said on my post that I did earlier today that, that you had it, you've been kind of on the fence about this set. And um, I, I just, it was like my number one purchase. I couldn't even wait. I love it so much. I love the way it's drawn. I really love the way that it's drawn. Okay, so here's my original card. And I was thinking like a plant shop, you know, where you can go buy plants. And we're gonna use this new wood texture specialty paper. And I had cut the cart out of the wood texture specialty paper as well, but it kind of blended in. So I decided to do it in our new silver foil. I thought that was a little bit better. Kind of pops off the cart a little bit better. Okay, well, let's start with our stamping, of course. Um, the paper that I'm using is new as well. It's the Mediterranean Blooms paper, which, by the way, will be Club Create Kit for July. I just started working on that, those projects, yesterday. Um, I am madly in love with that suite. It's beautiful. All right, well, for this card, we're just going to stamp. Of course, I don't have the ink. Here it is. We're going to stamp um, three times or four times in memento black. And I'm gonna try to do each plant just a little bit different. All right, I can already see that my <laughs> stamp and blends that I need for this project are not here. Yesterday and today were like design days. And so I've been designing for team training, I've been designing for Facebook Live, for club, um, for swaps, and so I've been Everything is prepared, but then I take it over there and go work on stuff. So hold on, let me grab these blends. They're over here where I was using them. Okay, you need Old Olive, Copper Clay, and Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna take the Daffodil Delight first, the light, and I'm gonna color the tips of this one like that. And then down here, I'm gonna do the bottoms like that. And then I'm gonna take the light. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna take the light and I'm just gonna kind of blend that up like that. And then this one will blend down. And I'm gonna take the dark and just add a little bit of dark kind of down at the bottom of that one. Now for these, I'm gonna do a little bit more dark, kind of two thirds of the leaves like that. And then I'm gonna take my light and just blend, 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 blend. And then this one I think we'll just do all light old olive. Now the one thing I did wanna do is some splatter, but I don't wanna get the splatter on my pots. So let's cover them up with post-it tape. And I'm gonna take my dark, whoa. Whoa, sending things flying around. I'm gonna take my dark, oh my uh, caps are, okay, okay, this is light. I need to, <laughs> you guys ever do that? Put one light cap and one dark cap on each of your markers and then you can't tell. All right, so I'm just gonna take some, like we did a few weeks ago with those plants and just flick some green on there like that. All right, peel that off. And then we will take our copper clay. Thanks guys for sharing. Yes, I am feeling better, thank you. It, it took a while, both of us had identical symptoms. It was so strange, but then my husband who is sleeping in the bed next to me every night did not get sick. I don't know, it's weird. Sicknesses are weird. My daughter thought she had food poisoning. We ate at two different restaurants the night before. She ate somewhere and I ate somewhere, so it was not food poisoning. And food poisoning you're pretty much done with within a day or two, right? It doesn't last for a week. I haven't been sick in a really long time, so I was probably due for getting sick. I'm gonna take the dark and just color in the middle like that. Okay, now. Take your die, this one right here, and cut them all out. And look, I've already done that ahead of time, yay! Okay. 
Now, I, I do need to get some grid paper out. Let me do that. I have a brand new pack of grid paper here. But I also have some that I have used. I had such a hard time throwing away grid paper. I'm like, I'm gonna save it. And then, then I end up with a giant pile of used grid paper. Um, all right, so here is the wood texture paper. This is new, and you guys, it's very lightly textured. It's lighter than, um, say, an embossed piece of paper. I'm gonna take pecan pie and a blending brush. Now, I don't want it to be real dark, so I'm gonna really run it off over here. Um, I found that it, the first time I used it, it, I did it dark, and I did not like it. It just kind of, I don't know, it was too heavy or something. So just use kind of a light touch. And I'm only gonna go about halfway down because we're gonna cover the rest with designer series paper. Okay, I think that's far enough down. Then of course, we're gonna splatter. Do I not have my, oh yeah, we'll use, we'll use copper clay. Uh-oh, don't set that down there. We're gonna take just some copper clay, sprink, sprinkle it on. Now I have this piece of Mediterranean Blooms Designer Series paper, and I'm just gonna cut off like that. I didn't measure it, but I would say it's about an inch and a half down, about towards the middle. And I have done several diagonal cards this week. I don't know what my deal is. I'm loving the diagonal, the diagonal look. All right, so put that there. And then, as always, we have new color stacks and our color or color packs, I guess I could say. Um, each color family has a pack of designer series paper with four sheets of each color. So this is the Regals pack and this is a piece of garden green. I love to have those around because sometimes you just need a piece of something. You know, like I just needed a green border and I didn't want to use cardstock. So I pulled that out and it matches the green here and voila, they come in six by six. All right, linen thread. And I'm going to actually get my tape because this is on a diagonal. I'm zoomed in really a lot today, it feels like. I may have to zoom back out. All right, so I'm going to take that and put it right there and then I'm going to tape it right here. Because the problem is on the diagonal, the if I just tie it, it's gonna end up slipping and not being exactly where I want it. So I'm just gonna cheat, take some tape. You can also put a little slit right there with your um, scissors and it'll hold it in place, but I'm just gonna do this. All right, so we're gonna tie this right here. if I can use my fingers. <laughs> we, um, the parks that are connected to the resort, the resort that we went to had lots of parks um, and they were very impressive. Um, but one was mostly animals and that's where we saw a snake slither right next to me. And it was not part of the animals there. It was just a snake. And my friend Hattie also saw a snake at another park. So swimming in the water, I'm glad it happened to me the last night because swimming in the water there, I kept saying to my husband, there's no snakes here, right? And he was like, oh, right, uh-huh. <laughs> I knew he was lying to me, but I thought the resort's gonna, the resort's gonna be, they're gonna be on top of it, you know? One of the things we went through, you guys, was the sensory deprivation thing. That's all I can say. Basically, you're gonna go through this dark tunnel for like five minutes and you're gonna experience six different biomes and you have to use your senses to get through it. It was so weird. You had to put your hands on the walls and it was like foliage and sometimes it was like rough, sometimes it got hot, sometimes you're walking through water. I didn't really know what we were doing and I think if I had known what we were doing, I probably would have been like, I'm out. But again, I was trying to be brave, you guys, on this trip. I don't want to be the little old scared fuddy-duddy sitting over there while everybody else is having fun. 
it was weird. It, Mexico is, was weird. There, we had several weird um, experiences. I don't regret any of them, but they were weird. That was one of the weird ones. Um, when I got to the end, they only let you go through, I'm putting adhesive sheet on the back of the silver foil. They don't let you, you have to go through by yourself. You can't hold your husband's hand and follow him while he goes through. No, you have to go by yourself. Um, which I'm glad too, because I would have totally just been like, ah, you do it, you know. Um, I was like this, literally the whole time, like on the wall. Like I was not letting go and I was trying to calm myself down. But then the whole, the whole thing I kept thinking is there's no snakes in here, right? There's no like critters that are going to touch me. It's just all fake. Those noises, those animal sounds that I'm hearing is all fake, right? Okay. So I can, yes. So then fast forward five days and a snake slithers right next to me. <sighs> you guys, it was weird. It was weird. Okay. Yes, Kimberly. I'm so glad Sam Up has regular silver foil. Again, we had silver foil, but it came in this weird pack with this purpley foil and I didn't use the purpley foil. I only used silver. So now we have regular packs of silver foil and it's not real, real shiny. It's kind of that, um, oh, muted shiny, if you will. I put adhesive sheets on the back and we're going to run through these two pieces. And then the reason I put adhesive sheets on the back was because it's just going to make it a whole lot easier to glue. You're going to need your dye brush and your, you know, your little pointy end, which I have over here. Have any of you been to Eshkret in Playa? I would recommend it if you're looking for a vacation. My kids really want us to go. Um, snakes can smell your fear. Yeah, for sure. That snake, but you know, that's get That snake was scared of me. It took off it, The funniest part of seeing that snake is that I yelped, you know, and jumped, which made my husband do this exact same thing. And I have never in my life seen him do that. So then I was laughing so hard that I thought I was going to be sick because his reaction, he didn't even see it. He was like, what, what? You know, and I, just to see my husband do that was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. So at least, you know, at least, and it was a tiny little black snake, but ugh, you know how I feel about snakes. Okay. <laughs> Peel off the adhesive and I'm going to arrange my little plants kind of haphazardly. We're going to have them kind of overlapping like this. And then because, oh, I got to get the rest of the adhesive off of here. Then we can just take this and just pick them up like that. Okay. Hopefully it won't stick to your desk. This one needs to get picked up. Okay. So now they're in the cart and we're going to stick all that down. Um, let's stamp our sentiment for some weird reason. When I first started playing with this set, I didn't think it had sentiment. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. So I grabbed this and use this from Country Birdhouse. It does have sentiments, I realized. So feel free to use the sentiments that are in the set. <sighs> um, Julie, you've been there. Um, it was, you know what, it's not somewhere that I would have chosen to go because it looked adventurous to me. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not real adventurous, but we loved, it. usually I'm the kind I like to lay around in at the pool at the beach and do nothing but i found here i didn't want to do that i wanted to go do stuff um so it's fun and if you have older kids i think this would be a great place to take older kids my friend rhonda brought all of her older kids and they loved it so it'd be a good place to take your older kids all right so i masked that off hoping you have the okay and then Let's clean it and we're gonna stamp the other part in um, pecan pie. I'm almost out of post-it tape. Oh no, I guess I'm good. I just ran out of my other one. I was thinking that was low too. All right, it looks like I have glitter on this. I don't know, I haven't used glitter. 
There we go. Don't forget to peel that off. Don't touch it because it's a mess. You know, I need to turn my lights around. I turned them around a minute ago. There we go. Oh no, got some green on there. Okay. And then just stamp it right there on a piece of basic white. And slice that off. Oh, your husband can't deal with snakes either. Ooh. So who takes care of the marry you? <laughs> of me shooing the snake because it was headed for my husband's truck. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, in a marriage, there has to be one person who can deal with them. My friend Kay, who lives in um, Arkansas, posted a video of her this week. She had a snake in her kitchen or her foyer or something, and she was brooming it out, sweeping it with a broom. Oh, my God. Springtime. Springtime for snakes. Okay, hoping you have the best day ever. Now, I'm gonna take dimensionals and put the dimensionals on the back, which is gonna hold these guys in place a little bit better. And I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna shorten these little, whatever you call those, up a little bit, just for the sake of how we have things arranged. I found I needed to shorten them just a bit. And I'm gonna put them on here like this, okay? And then we'll put dimensionals on the back of this. And we're gonna put it all together. All right, we're gonna put that there. You gotta put it low enough so that things aren't, you know, hanging off the edge of the card. And there you go. And I do have, well, I was gonna put that on the inside, but now it's too small. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's just make it small all the way around. And now it'll be the right size. And what you can do on this piece on the inside is stamp a couple more flowers, color them in, carry over the design on the inside. So, um, new paper. We've got new paper. We've got three different new papers here and a new stamp set. Everything is new except for the linen thread. And that die right there. Those are stylus shape dies. All right, so there you are for all my gardening people who like to shop for plants. My daughters love to shop for plants. I'm just, you know, I've told you guys, I don't have a green thumb. I'm not great. Um, you jump on the kitchen counter when a mouse ran across the floor. <laughs> that would make me laugh. Well, my husband, you know, tries to, like, he's Mr. Tough Guy. Hunter, Fisher, you know, like a dude. And when I saw him jump, when I saw that snake, it it distracted me from the snake. It made me laugh so hard. And he was like, what? Why are you laughing? Well, because that is a memory to take. I'm not going to ever forget the, that. Definitely made me forget the snake. Okay, so there we go. I definitely like the silver foil on that shopping cart better than the wood grain. I was trying to think like a wooden shopping cart. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, silver foil. I like it better. Okay. Now the next card is a little bit of a case from Michaela Tithard. She's on the artisan design team. Sorry, I need a drink. And she did a presentation at one of the on stages and I've seen her, I've seen the pictures online. She did a slider card. So, of course, I wanted to make a slider card, too. Let's see if I can get my thing to slide. This is the one I made yesterday um, on the individual recording. I have, like, individual recordings of each of these projects on YouTube. And a big blob came out of my Wink Estella. So, I'm calling it a disco ball. You know, shopping. Having a fun shopping party or something. I don't know. Here's my original. It does not have the blob. I'm going to show you how I used magnets. Did you see that? It's attached by magnets, okay? We've done this before, and we're actually going to do pretty much the same thing next week with our... Next week is um, the race cars, and we're going to do something similar next week, okay? All right, so let's get to it. Let's get started on this one. Um, we are using Blackberry Bliss today. I put on this shirt thinking it was similar to Blackberry Bliss. And now that I see it next to Blackberry Bliss, it's not. 
<laughs> Sometimes when I get dressed, I think, okay, what projects are we doing today? Because I'm going to try to match, but it doesn't always happen. All right, you're going to need an eight by eight and a half inch. Oh, okay, let me read your comments. I've been known to run them over the lawnmower. Oh gosh, Gail. That's pretty brave, Gail. I don't think I can even do that. Then the mower sits in place until I have to go from work down to the back. Oh, that's so gross. Yuck. That uh, I captured one, so I inspected the grass clippings, and guess what? I wasn't like, well, well, it was dead, wasn't it, Gail? In the in the grass bag. That is so funny. Um, oh, yeah, I bet it was in military housing. Yes. Okay, eight by eight and a half. On the long side, your paper is pretty much almost square so make sure you're on the long side okay you're just going to score it at four and eight and really we're just making like a little envelope um, to put this little card to slide back and forth so get your ooh, chopped in half gale Ugh. my we had a tiny snake a few weeks ago my mom came over and she's like i'm gonna face my fears i'm gonna get it I can't even be around when they're like getting the snake. It just, I don't know what it is. They freak me out. And so um, she got the little, we have snake grabbers and she was able to like pick it up and put it in the bucket. And uh, it was, we determined later that it had been run over and it was basically dead anyway, but still it was braver than I, braver than I. All right, put, um, Hold on, I'm thinking of what I need to do before I do, 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 do. Okay, I've got to put, okay, so we put adhesive here, and then we're going to put adhesive, <laughs> I have to think about what I'm doing. Put adhesive here, okay, so here's that. No, actually, let's put it, hmm, let me think. Yeah, we're going to put it here. <laughs> I have made this twice already. You'd think I'd know. All right, let's put Taran, Taran tape's good for this. It's like the right size, it's narrow. I like that that tear and tape is narrow. Sometimes you just need narrow, you know, adhesive because Stampin' Steel is a little bit fatter. And liquid glue is just a mess. All right, so now we're gonna fold it down like that, okay? So you've created this pocket, basically. Now, blending brush, Blackberry Bliss, be careful because Blackberry Bliss is very dark. I'm just gonna kind of run it in there. Where's my, let's get this grid paper again. I didn't get enough. I was too scared I was going to have too much. All right, so I'm just going to kind of put this black berry bliss blob like that. Okay, now here's what I did. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be transparent with you guys. Somebody on here told us that you could put alcohol in here to bring them back to life, right? So I did it, and yes, it is true. However, it's very drippy now. So did what did I do? Did I put the wrong kind of alcohol? Did I put too much? That's how I ended up with the, um, the disco ball. So let's see what happens. If your Wigacilla is dry, you can put some alcohol in there. I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit. And let's see. Okay, it's better. Whoop. It's real, it's a lot drippier than the original, but it but it totally worked. So just a warning. Okay, so let's see. Let's set that aside to dry. And we're gonna do some coloring, some stamp and blends. Sneeze it too hard. <laughs> it's like it's really I think you meant squeeze it, right? <laughs> Um, but see, I, what happens is I didn't, like you just saw, I didn't go and let it drop. I squeezed it a little bit till it kind of came down and then I flicked it. It's just very drippy. Drippy. When I was a kid, we found rattlesnakes in my aunt's barn with her horses. It was the day before her wedding. She chopped their heads off with a shovel and that I don't do snakes of any kind. Wow. Just, just went out there. She must've been a farm girl, huh? She was not afraid. Ooh. I couldn't get within a hundred feet of a rattlesnake. I couldn't. My, I just couldn't do it. Even if I knew I was safe, I just, ugh. yuck. All right, we are using the wine bottle and the gift bag. Now, in my video yesterday, 
I went on and on about how I loved um, Pretty Peacock and Blackberry Bliss. And then I realized it's not Pretty Peacock. <laughs> it's Lost Lagoon. However, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock are very similar. So Lost Lagoon or Pretty Peacock with Blackberry Bliss is a beautiful color combination. The, the black, the, um, what am I trying to say? The Peacock, Pretty Peacock, it's just gonna be a lot darker. All right, so do like a light and then take your dark and go like that and up here. Now, if you guys need a coloring lesson, go over to the YouTube channel and find the clean, I call them clean recordings because there's not all the chit chat about snakes and stuff. Um, and I zoom in, you can see it better. Um, but here we're just kind of doing fast and dirty. Now I'm taking light Blackberry Bliss and I'm gonna color the little label. I need to come back with my dark Lost Lagoon and color that little lip. And then we'll use copper clay for the cork. Now what are you guys doing for Mother's Day? We were supposed to have a basketball tournament and I think he realized that it was um, Mother's Day and nobody was RSVPing and so the whole thing got canceled. I was like, yeah, buddy, nobody wants to be at a basketball tournament on Mother's Day. And so, you know, you guys know what we wanna do on Mother's Day, nothing. Leave us alone, let us take a nap, let us look at our phones and not be bothered to do anything. That's what we want. That's what I want. My kids used to get so offended. You want us to just not bother you, but it's Mother's Day. I'm like, yeah, it's exactly what I want. Nobody to ask me anything. I want to take a nap without being woken up. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of color around the edges. And then I'm just gonna kind of, with my brush tip, just kind of blend that color over like that. Let's take the dark. Oh, nope, I need the bullet bullet end on the back of, and then, yeah, Denise, I squeezed the wink of Stella on a block. Yes, Denise, you know what? I normally do that, but I have found that once I do that, then there's like nothing left <laughs> in my wink of Stella. I think I squeezed too much. So maybe, I was trying to, I don't know. I was just trying new things, who knows? Who knows? But yes, that's normally what I do too. A car wash and dinner. You know what, Joan, a car wash is one of my favorite things to get for Mother's Day. When they take it somewhere where they like vacuum all their junk out of the back, I love that. Yes, that, I have gotten that many times. Last year, in fact, my, my youngest daughter did it herself. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. And she actually did a really good job. She said, I'm gonna clean your car out for Mother's Day. Yeah, mm-hmm. She did an awesome job. Okay, so there we go. Cute, that wine bottle is just really cute. I'm not a wine drinker, but I love that. That's very cute. All right, cut them out with your dies. Now, we're gonna do something different with this shopping cart. If you guys can see, it's like kind of like two dimensional. Can you guys see that? It's because I've used a foam adhesive foam sheet. And let's see, I've cut a section off of my adhesive foam sheet. They come, I think they're maybe, what size are they? I don't know, like five by five. And I'm gonna put it on here. Let me see, what do I need this for? Okay, yeah, I'm thinking how much, if I need to turn it the other way. We're just put it on here like this. And, ooh, we got ink there. Let's cut this off. We're gonna cut it, oh yeah, you know what I did? I may need to get another piece, unless this is, I should have done it the other way. Oh well, I'll go grab another piece. We're gonna actually cut two of our shopping carts. All right, um, my dies are right here. This is gonna be, it's thick. It's going through a big chunk of foam. So we're gonna have to go back and forth and back and forth, <laughs> back and forth and back and forth, just to make sure and I'm not putting an adhesive sheet on here. We're just gonna use glue this time. A foam adhesive sheet is different than a regular adhesive sheet. A foam adhesive sheet is like a big, giant dimensional. 
and that's what we're using. Okay, so let's go back and forth. And if it doesn't cut, you can put a shim, which is just a piece of cardstock on top, um, or flip it over like this. This is what I normally do. For some reason, it, these dies, if you have a die that's intricate, it's gonna cut out a whole lot better upside down than right side up. All right, now this is gonna take a little bit of work right here. Let's just poke all of these little guys out. Okay, these little foam squares. Don't take the backing off before you do this. Trust me, just don't. All right, so there's that. Now we've gotta cut another one, but without the foam. Put this in the trash. Do I have enough, do I have enough cardstock? Can we Jenga, oh yeah, we got plenty. Okay, okay. I was thinking we would not. So you're gonna cut out another one this time. This time, I'm just dropping it on the counter so they all pop out. <laughs> if you drop it down like that, they'll just all pop out. It's a lot easier. All right, so we've got that, and we've got that, and we've got this. So that's all we need to do for now. Okay, so we've got the foam one, and let's get our little goodies right here. We're gonna peel off that backing And let's pick up our, our goodies like that. And then we are going to stick it down to the other one. So we've just kind of made like this more three-dimensional cart. Does that make sense? And we're gonna put it on this. Did I get that out? Nope, there it is. We're gonna put it on a stylish shape circle. You guys, I was trying to think of a treat to go with the racing car stamp set. Anybody have any ideas on that? Really, it was coming up blank and I feel like there's something really obvious and I am not thinking of it. My husband usually is good with ideas on those. If you guys have ideas, let me know because I'm just drawing a blank. I can't come up with anything. All right, we need regular dimensionals, which are here somewhere in this mess of a desk. Here they are. And we'll put dimensionals right here. Like that. I'm really missing vellum, you guys. We don't have vellum in the catalog anymore, and I'm really struggling with it. Because I wanted to use vellum here. I wanted to use vellum on another project. So if you have vellum use it. I'm trying not to use it because I don't like to use things that I can't show you where you can get it. Hopefully it'll come back in another catalog. All right, this little banner is from, I left this off supply list and I can't think of the name. The new little die set that we have online that just has the two little dies. What's it called? It's online only. I cut it out. I heat embossed with white embossing powder and cut it out, it's on Blackberry Bliss. Now wait just a minute, Michelle, Hot Wheel gummies? Are there such a thing? Hot Wheels, like uh, fruit snacks? Hmm. Um, you know, Jessica, things are discontinued because they don't sell. That's the only reason. They are discontinued because they don't sell. So maybe we all just had so much vellum that we weren't ordering it, you know? All right, let's take this and this is any size circle punch you want. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna punch out. I'm using one and three fourths inch. You can use two, whatever. Whatever you have, whatever you wanna use. And we're gonna take this paper, which is from the Two Market. It's by Reese's, wait, what? The Gummies Race Car Fuel. It's Popcorn on Amazon, fruit snack section in the grocery store. Okay, Michelle, I'm gonna look for that. That's a really good idea. Abba Zabba's colored like a checkered flag. A Patty, Abba Zabba's, what are those? I've never heard of those. Fast break, candy bar, Bonnie. Yes, okay, I love it. Fast break, 
That is a good one. Okay, I'm going to the grocery store this week. I'm going to look for those, both of those. All right, here is a piece. This is the To Market Designer Series paper. You guys know I'm going to immediately go to whatever paper is gingham or checkered. And we're going to, let's just punch that off like that. No, oh, well, okay, let's just use our scissors because my punch is not punching that. There we go. All right, now we're gonna turn this into, actually, let's do the top part first. We're gonna take a same size circle, whatever you use to punch out over there, you're gonna, you're gonna punch out a smoky slate circle Boy, did I do that super crooked? No, okay, it's all right. And we're gonna put that there. Then you wanna punch a hole. I pulled out the crocodile for this one. Punch a hole. And we're gonna use the Pretty Peacock ribbon. And you're just gonna take a piece and fold it over. And then, let's see, one of you one time told me to use your, <laughs> these magnets are sticking to everything, to use your reverse tweezers right here to hold that, which I love. I love that suggestion. And let's get this under here like this, and we're just gonna tie. The reverse tweezers come in the um, embossing accessories kit. I mean, I'm sure you can get them lots of places, but if you have the embossing accessories kit, you get reverse tweezers. And I've actually never had any before, so I love them. Okay, let's snip this extra off because my fingers just don't seem to want to do what they're supposed to do today. So we're tying these two pieces together like that. And then we'll trim. Let's see, we can get rid of this guy now. Trim and trim. Okay, so now this is gonna slide in like this, okay? Now, to get it to hook onto this and make it slide, we're gonna need these, uh, now where did they go? Button magnets. I have them linked for you today if you wanna order some. They are awesome, they're from Amazon, of course. And then we're gonna get glue dots, which are, right here and i have just found that stacking two glue dots is the best option for these button magnets i don't know why two is better but it is all right and then you're going to stick it to that so i've got two there okay and then i'm going to stick it down here like this oh hello i, got, I didn't put the glue dots on there need more glue dots Four magnets, eight glue dots. Okay, now stick that on there so that the bottom magnets are on the white part. Take that off, stick it in here, and then this will stick where those magnets are and it'll slide it. And when you slide it all the way out, it just sticks to that. Then you just take it off slide it back in and stick it on there. Isn't that fun? So we're gonna do something like this next week with a race car too, just because I mean you have to, right? So cute. All right, last but not least, let's put a few smoky pearls. This is a new embellishment that we have. I can't get enough of pearls and dots. And now we have these really cool smoky pearls. I'm glad you guys like it. I think this is a really fun um, project and you turn this into a gift card holder by just putting a strip of DSP at the bottom and making it a pocket and you can put a little gift card on there. All right, so you guys get the magnets. They're great. They're, they're just, I use them all the time. Okay, and there you go, a slider. Uh, Michaela did hers different with a slit and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna simplify this. My brain is still on vacation. I can't figure it out. And we'll just stick with what we know and use the magnets. Okay, I'm glad you guys like that. It is fun. Interactive card. Um, I, maybe my mom's not on here and I'll just change it and put Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I, I haven't made a card yet. I need to make her a card. Sorry, mom. 
All right, last but not least, we're gonna make a box. We are going to make a box. Let me clean up a little bit. Let me clean up. In here is a decadent treat that you can find at Walmart called the Hershey's Triple Chocolate Cakes. My chocolate-loving daughter loves these. She loves them. If you can't find them, I link them on Amazon too. Um, yes, Kayleen, I did two, a stack of magnets. Okay, so there's two here and two here. I had them stuck together at first when I put the glue dots on there so that they would be lined up exactly where they needed to be. Does that make sense? Four magnets, eight glue dots. Okay, we're gonna make this box. It just opens up to hold your little chocolate cupcake. Just for you, I uh, wanted to create a project that didn't use the shopping cart because I think that the little images here are just cute enough to be on their own, right? They don't necessarily have to be in the shopping cart. All right, um, where are my measurements? Here's my paper. Let's make sure that the measurements are correct. Did I not? <gasps> I didn't, oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't put the measurement. Wait a minute, did I not put the measurements on? Let me look at this other one. I printed two of them out. Ugh. Yes, okay, here are the measurements. I'll add it to the PDF. If you have already printed it out, you're gonna need to write them in. All right, the, the Blackberry cardstock is six by nine and a half. On the long side, we're gonna do half an inch, three and a half, five, and eight. Turn it to the short side and do one and a half and four and a half. All right, grab your bone folder and you want to crisp up those lines. Get them nice and scored, burnished, so that your box will be nice and straight. All right, on this side we have a half inch lip. We're gonna cut off these two right here. That little rectangle and that little rectangle. And we're gonna snip those corners. Snip and snip, okay? Now we have these four squares right here and we're gonna cut each one and we're gonna cut the corners off of them. Make sure you're cutting right down the center of the score line. I'm, I'm not good at that. I always seem to cut on the outside of the score line and that's why I cut off the corners. All right, those corners will just help. If you're kind of a messy stamper, cutter, colorer like me, there's some workarounds. Okay, snip, snip, snip. Cut off the corners, cut off the corners. All right, so this is what your piece looks like. Um, I used to cut these, this tab and this tab the same as this. And I realized that when you do that, the lid falls down into the box. These really need to stay this height to keep the lid even with the box. So um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna cut these corners off in a minute um, so that that will tuck in. I'll show you how it kind of makes it a little bit hard to tuck in when you leave them long. That's why I used to cut them off. All right, it has been incredibly humid here, like 130% humidity. <laughs> and my studio, I, we actually had the air conditioning guy come out yesterday because it's so muggy in here. My papers are feeling kind of wet. And of course he was like, eh, yeah, it's, you know, it's humid. <sighs> no solution. He just was like, turn the air conditioning down. So that's what we're doing. But anyway, I have to use liquid glue because it's so humid. Put glue on those squares and fold them into the sides. Okay. I need a dehumidifier, I know that. I just don't know which one to buy and I honestly don't wanna mess with it. So I'm gonna see, he said to turn the temperature down about three or four degrees, which I like. My husband may not like it, but we'll see if that fixes the problem. 
All right, leave that there for now. We're gonna let it dry. We're gonna cut out our, we're gonna stamp our three little images. And you know what? Well, let's go ahead and do it. I have them already cut out, but we'll go ahead and color them too. We need the wine bottle. We need some ink. And we're gonna do that one in Memento. We're gonna do the birthday cake. Or I guess it's a cake. And the flowers, the flowers are so cute. Right, we're gonna stick with the same colors. Let's do the cake. I'm gonna take my Pretty in Pink. I think this is Pretty in Pink. Oh, well, no, it's Bubble Bath, but it's supposed to be Pretty in Pink. All right, Bubble Bath. And we're gonna color that. And then I'm gonna take my Dark, and I'm gonna go on the outside of the icing like that. Okay, just to create kind of some dimension. And then we'll take light blackberry bliss. And we're going to color in that icing. Like that. Oh, out of the lines. I'm just trying to get it done. Get it done. We're already past three o'clock. Some daffodil light for the flames. Let's bring back that wink of Stella and add some wink of Stella here like that. For the flowers, we're gonna use the same colors. Color in those flowers, three pink flowers, and then we'll do three Blackberry Bliss flowers. And then we'll take Smoky Slate, and just add some polka dots here to our little wrapper. I'm not gonna color the wine bottle because it's exactly the same. I do need to color that part in. I've already cut them out. Now these are gonna be a tight fit on our tag, so we're gonna have to do some overlapping. So let me show you that. I've cut out a postage rectangle, but it's actually, it's a square. Aren't the dies called postage rectangle dies? <laughs> They're not all rectangles, obviously. All right, let me grab the Blackberry Bliss from over here. And we're gonna stamp for you right here, just for you. And it barely fits, so it's probably better if you stamp it, then cut it out. I've got a Blackberry Bliss stylish shape circle. This is the second largest. And we're gonna start with the Just For You right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take the flowers and we'll stick those there. I'm gonna take the wine and the cake and kind of do them like that. And then we'll take this and slide it behind because it's gonna have to kind of go under like that. Okay. And then we've got some pretty and pink ribbon. Thanks, Vicki. Hi, Lisa. And we're gonna tie a bow. Let's see if I can get that. This new in color ribbon is awesome. It looks to me like it's gonna be a thick, stiff ribbon, but it's really not. It's light and it's easy to use. And it comes in all five of the end colors and it also comes in our new basic beige. All right, a glue dot. And we're gonna stick that right there. All right, bring back your box. And I am using Unbound Beauty Designer Series Paper. We used this several times on the last Facebook Live. Let's put that right there. Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. If you leave your, your sides like that, it makes it very difficult to close. So what you need to do is cut a deep corner, not just, you know, not just a little boop, 
but kind of a deep corner so that now you can slide it in easy. Isn't that neat? I don't know, it just goes in so much better and then your, your lid doesn't fall down inside your box. All right, let's put that one right there and ta-da! Now I would think that these would make great little treats for keeping in your desk at work. You know, like, oh, it's your birthday, look, I have something for you. They don't know that you made it last month. It's still good, you know. It wasn't maybe specifically for them, but you look like a nice friend because you have a little treat for them. And you can change the colors. If you want, do whatever colors you want. Pretty easy, right? And hello, triple chocolate cake, who doesn't want that? All right, that is it for today, you guys. Um, I have two bonus projects I wanna show you. This is the one I did yesterday. And again, I can't stop using these in colors. This is Peach Pie with Blackberry Bliss and Pretty in Pink. I just, I can't stop using those, um, specifically um, Peach Pie and Pretty in Pink. I use the same flowers as I did on here for this. And then this one I'll have on Monday for you. Look at this paper, you guys. I mean, oh my gosh. This is from the Lily Pad Lake. The ducks, the cute little ducks. That paper is in there. And these little crackle dots. Oh my gosh, they're the cutest. So that will be on Monday's blog post. All right, that is it for me today. You guys, don't forget, if you want a make and take kit that has this project and this project and this project make sure you get your orders in by monday at midnight all orders that are over 35 dollars pre-tax and ship and have the host code i will send these to you for free next week all right you guys um have a great weekend happy mother's day to all of you who are moms um, I will be back next week with the race car stamp set. And thank you for the suggestions on the gummies and the fast break. Those are perfect ideas. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.